Hey guys, I am at a spot where I've had multiple reports of white sharks breaching. I can't tell you how many people have sent me messages that this beach here behind me has a lot of white sharks and a lot of them breaching. Uh, some of them are thresher sharks, I believe, but I'm gonna put the drone up to take a look and uh, find out if there's really sharks here. I know I've seen sharks along this stretch of beach in the past. Santa Monica Pier is right behind me. It's just right here, not even a mile away. So. Uh, let's check it out. Let's see if there's sharks. I'll let you know in just a second. If there's one thing I've learned searching for sharks, it's this. Just when I think I've got things figured out, the unexpected happens. Today, I'm on assignment looking for breaching juvenile white sharks. These young sharks are easy to spot, especially on a clear day like today. But this one suddenly vanished, and what appeared next caught me completely off guard because I know a big shark when I see one. And this one was big. It came out of nowhere. The Santa Monica Bay is known as a nursery ground for juveniles, but this was no juvenile. This is the real deal, just a mile from the Santa Monica Pier. I estimate it to be in the 15 foot range. A big shark so close to shore, you could literally see LA traffic behind it. So why is this shark here? It's the natural question to ask. But after years of observing them, I realized sharks don't always follow rules. The ocean is their home, and just like we do in ours, they roam. This one might be chasing food on a migratory detour, or maybe just enjoying the warm water today. For me, it's a rare opportunity to observe to watch how a large apex predator moves near the backdrop of a major city. There may be no image more iconic than the dorsal fin of a white shark breaking the surface. And it's ironic that the very city that gave rise to the film that vilified white sharks shares its coastline with them, a population of sharks that is anything but monstrous. They aren't always hungry man-eating monsters portrayed by the directors residing on the land beyond that beach. In a world full of challenges, white sharks continue to survive not as villains, but as reminders of the wild that still exists just beyond the shoreline. For me personally, seeing a large, seemingly healthy white shark so close to Los Angeles is a rare treat, a privilege really. I could have followed this shark until sundown, but there are rules I must follow. As it neared the Santa Monica Pier, I had to let it continue on its own. The footage you're about to see is a live screen recording from my drone. I'll explain exactly why I couldn't follow the shark any further. So if I turn the drone this way, and I fly in this direction, That's my map. If you see the blue lines there, that's um, restricted airspace. So I have to mine my airspace. I can go right to the edge of that, but I can't go in there. And right now the shark has gone into that area, which is getting pretty close to the Santa Monica Pier. As, I, as long as I stay along this line here, Approach edge see I'm getting a warning. Uh, that means that um, I can't go into that way. So unfortunately, the shark has gone into there and I have to be mindful of the rules. So I have to stay out of that airspace, which is something that all drone pilots should do when you fly, make sure you understand there are specific airspace areas. And so um, that's the only spot you can fly. Uh, in fact, if I try to enter it, it does not let me go in there. You see that? Well, I cannot go in there. That's restricted airspace. So, uh, unfortunately, I am going to have to lose the shark. 
perspective, continue searching for others. It's very interesting that we found such a large shark today. Amazing that we were able to just find a shark that big right here. A lot of people don't realize that sharks that big can be anywhere. It's the ocean. So I get a lot of questions of where am I filming sharks? And I I don't disclose many of them my locations because quite honestly, a lot of people go hunt the sharks down. I've seen it personally. Last year I counted seven white sharks that were killed and a couple of them left or right on the beach where I film sharks. So people do chase them down, but uh, you know, if I, I always say nature is unpredictable and this is a perfect example. I came here this morning because uh, there are white sharks breaching here. I've had a lot of people on Instagram and here on YouTube message me that they've seen white sharks breaching near this tower. Put the drone up and I find this 15, 16 foot white shark. So I'm gonna go let the uh, lifeguards know real quick. Most of the white sharks I film here are small, typically in the five to eight foot range. And when you spend enough time observing them, you start to notice the differences, not just in size, but in movement, posture, and presence. Yes, it's mainly these juveniles near shore. That much is evident, but there are distinct differences in appearance between juveniles and adults. Take a look at these juveniles I filmed over the past year. Their bodies are lean, their heads are proportionally smaller, and their pectoral fins often appear oversized in comparison. And quite often, they don't have these battle scars. But the most noticeable thing is the lack of girth. Now compare that to this shark. I filmed this one near a dead whale carcass up north. This shark is around 16 feet long. Notice how thick it is. Here's a confirmed 15-foot great white shark I filmed in Cape Cod while working with the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy. Look at the distinct difference in the size of the head. Now here's the shark I filmed in Santa Monica. Notice how similar it appears to the shark in Cape Cod. From the proportions to the way it moves, it's remarkably close. And then there's the very obvious scars, a sign that this shark has been through some battles, either with marine mammals or other sharks. This is a mature shark, or very close to it. And while rare, it's not impossible. Every so often, a large white shark cruises through the same waters we swim, surf, and paddle in. I'll leave you with this. A few clips of typical juveniles we see here and one final look at the shark that changed the tone of my day. Not every day brings something unexpected, but when it does, it reminds me why I keep looking. Thanks for watching.